So let's do 3D imp painting with AI art. So this is a rather new term, so I'm just going to kind of outline it here. So basically 3D imp painting is a way of getting parallax motion in an automated way uh, by imp painting as you move kind of the depth image around. So one of the problems with creating 3D dioramas using depth is that it's a flat surface. So as you move it around, you get these really large warpings on edges. And so how we can kind of resolve that is that we can use uh, imp painting to kind of clear up that mess. And so it's really helpful for these kind of parallax motions where you're going to side to side or kind of moving around a lot to avoid these like large warpings uh, and so that's basically what it is uh, and it's really easy to implement now because there has been an extension to the depth extension an extension of an extension of the auto 111 repo and so that allows you to do this 3d in painting like pretty much automatically like it's one button click so basically you go to the depth section you put in your image uh, and then you can output a video <laughs> by, by clicking on this little tag here uh, so by default it gives out four videos once you've done that, you can do single videos where you start from one point and then move the camera up, down, or to the sides. There's quite a bit of control that you already have from the start of it. So for this application, I found using the RES 101 Plus Boost gave me the best quality depth maps for doing the 3D in painting. The other ones are also very good, but they, uh, especially if you're doing really detailed work, the boost is really necessary. There's actually so many possibilities with this. Like you could actually throw this back into image to image or depth to image and then get out some sort of video that has the 3D in information from the original image and kind of embedded into it so you can start creating these really weird uh yeah like I, there's a lot that you can do with this is not using deformer at all so like there's just a lot of extra things that you can kind of combine in with this and so i think it's a really promising tool to put into your tool belt these videos are really good for setting tone and i think that in a lot of lore videos or kind of talkovers they're going to be really helpful